also one of the things that I like to do when I go to a charity shop is to buy old books like this these beautiful linen covers you don't get them like that now and these you can buy for like 50p or a pound in your local charity shop and I'd quite like to use this one as a type of sketchbook this one's about birds as you can see and here I've put some gesso on it now gesso is a primer that I use on my canvases. You probably don't have this at home unless you're living with an artist. You can buy it in art shops, it's not that cheap. So what you could use is just some basic white acrylic, but you would need to use a couple of coats. Let the first coat dry and then put the next one on. Just before we go on to do things, you can see what this lovely book is. It's got these really nice illustrations in, look. So I'm going to leave those pages and then paint over this. So I've put some blue paint over the top of this uh, white gesso here. This is just a standard little emulsion test pot just to see how that will go. And I'm going to try and do some birds. Now I thought my birds wouldn't be um, a realistic Kind of drawing like these I thought I'd make them quite illustrative so quite stylized so they wouldn't look like that in real life but I thought that might look quite nice and one way for you to do that I think would be to be quite creative with your shapes that's a good thing about the bird design is it's quite easy and you can make really distinctive shapes let me show you. So I've got some pink paint here. And I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to do one on here. Now I just want to pick a shape that I like. So it just don't really stress about this. Just get your paint and think, hmm, what am I going to do here? So like, I'm just going to do this kind of shape. just to start with. You can do anything you like. Basically, any kind of shape you do, you can make a bird out of. That blue and that pink work really well together, don't they? This brush is a bit thick. And another one just to get that. Just gonna get a point on there and I think that'll make that his tail. Okay, let that dry. So next I'm going to do some, add some more colours. I've got a yellow here. I'm going to put that in. So I'm going to give them a beak. Where should we do that? Now a beak is just a triangle. And I'm going to give them a little beak. Just here. Like that. And then I'm going to Use a bit of red to give him some wings now. Where should I put the wings? So we've got a tail here, so I think I might just do his wing here and paint that over. So I'm using acrylics here, but you could use um, watercolour, poster paint. You could even use oil pastels, anything you've got really. You don't have to do it with paint. So what I've done is put another coat of red on and I thought maybe it needed to change a bit there because actually I quite like this as the wing. So that's what I've done. I might just decorate those wings with this pink over the top. So I'm just going to put some little dots. Over the top. So now I've got all my basic colours on, I'm going to add a bit more detail with my pen. So I'm just going to use um, a drawing pen. You could use a dark pencil, make sure it's nice and sharp or um, 
a biro. So I'm just going to highlight that beak there. And actually there's a little dot there, but I might put his eye a bit further up here. And then I'm going to go around the outline. Going to give him nice sticky legs. So you could add a bit of detail. If you wanted to, you could maybe give him a little bark um, branch. down a bit like that. Okay. Now with this page I've put some white acrylic and then some watercolour over the top and it kind of matches that background of the old page and I'm going to use a waterproof pen because I'm hoping to just do a bit of watercolour over the top but you don't have to do that. Now what I'm going to try and do little different shapes. I'm going to do maybe two or three birds here. Now the first one um, I'm going to do here. can see all the writing but I quite like that and I've been looking at these photos here of these pink drawings and I was thinking I quite like this and this one here I thought we might do that here so I'm going to turn it round and using a sketching pencil to make sure you can see I'm going to try and go in the middle lightly sketching because I want to get this bit and this bit the same 